So now we're going to go ahead and just show how you would spike a bag and just get this administration set uh, set up. Um, of course, you would be wearing gloves, um, but for demo purpose, I'm not going to, and you'd be using a septic technique. Um, so first thing I do is I always close off my roller clamp um, so I don't leak fluid on the floor of the ambulance and uh, possibly cause a hazard there. Um, you just go ahead and remove that blue cap and discard of it, and then remove the white cap on your spike leading to your administration set. Now sometimes this is easier to do while the bag is hanging, um, but when we're in a patient's home, we don't always have that option. Um, so just be careful when you are doing this because this is, as you can see, very sharp. So you just push this spike into that port where that blue cap was. And you want it to go all the way in. Um, at this point, you squeeze the drip chamber, and we want to see that drip chamber fill up about halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and give it one more squeeze so it's about halfway full. Now I'm just going to open my blue roller clamp. And you can see that the fluid is just flowing wide open there. Um, and right now I have it flowing into a trash can, but we want to get that entire line um, free of any air um, and we want it all to be filled with fluid so we don't put any air into our patient. Now that I have this spiked, um, I can show you how we can set different drips here. So as you can see now, I'm just doing it at a, about a medium rate. I have my roller clamp about half down. But you can see the drips flowing through the drip chamber and that's how I can start counting how many drops per minute I'm giving my patient. Now this is a macro tubing set so it takes 10 of those drops to equal 1 ml of fluid entering my patient. If I was trying to replace rapid fluid loss I could open this up wide open. You can see it's a steady stream. Um, if I just wanted to make sure my IV remained patent I can actually set it uh, very slow. You can see I only have a few drops going into my patient. So we're not really giving them a whole lot of fluid, um, but just a drop here and there to maintain that uh, IV patency. So usually we don't count drops per minute in the squad. We're usually going to run it at a KVO or a wide open rate or just put it at a moderate rate. Um, but I will show you how to set how many drops per minute. Say I wanted to give 15 drops per minute to my patient. Um, for 15 drops per minute, I would deliver one drop every four seconds because uh, we would just take 60 seconds in one minute and divide that by 15. So I would just move my roller clamp. And we're just going to set it and watch our watch until we do one drop every four seconds. So usually it's drop, two, three, four, drop, two, three, four, drop, two, three, four. And that's how we can kind of count our drops per minute uh, without using an IV pump.